okay guys so this is my nursery tour finally um as you can see it's more like the nursery den we turned the den area into her bedroom because um when i we got here to florida we didn't expect that i was gonna be you know that i was gonna get pregnant so we only have a two bedroom so we created this den well this den was already here um it was just a blank area in the living room as you can see has it, its own window so it's a den area it's a den area and um we just made it into a um into a uh nursery so i'm just going to show you around first and then we'll get into details about what's in here so yeah we have stuff on the walls etc etc so i'll come back um and detail the room so we'll start with the walls um as you can see here we have her bag hanging up it is full of her stuff to take to the hospital already and it's just hanging up by tax we have some of these little uh sticky things hooks to go up there but they don't stick well and then we have a couple of outfits hanging up there of course she will be wearing those that one that says mommy loves me there was an outfit behind it but it's inside the bag now because she's gonna wear that and then it just says princess princess is her middle name or will be her middle name so just got some little stickers up there little decorations and a sun hat because we do live in florida and it will the sun will be out so that's that next wall. we have this wall here above her crib and it says every day is a gift and then we have her name up here excuse the way it looks because we have to nail these in we didn't know well i didn't know that when i purchased them at walmart and um we have to you know i'm breathy because i'm pregnant y'all we have to um nail them in so we're going to take those tags down eventually and go ahead and put them up the right way and we may also do a diy project and paint them pink or so but that'll be a while from now so we're really not that concerned with it so that is the um her name right above her crib and her name is Persia. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this stuff first I have a little trash can here and I'm gonna use this for her diapers and it's gonna go right out to the trash because I'm gonna tell you I am not paying no 50 60 70 80 dollars for a diaper genie because I feel like I don't want any poopy diapers hanging around anyway so if they're poopy they need to go out <laughs> So, also I had picked this up from Walmart for two dollars. So beautiful, bless our baby girl. We just had to put it up. It was only two bucks, so I really want to go back and find some more of those. Okay, here we just have this because it wasn't that much room in here to be trying to bring a dresser in here. So I'm just gonna slowly show you what's okay, in here. Okay, once again I'm back. It was kind of hard to try to show you guys that. Once again, these are, with the exception of this, I'm going to put this down where it belongs. All of these are zero to three month clothes. And then we realized that the middle drawer is kind of on the empty side. She's going to need some more three to six month clothes. Look at that. That's all that's in there. Like, what happened? <laughs> what happened? Like, we put a lot of clothes for newborn, which I didn't want to do. And then we ended up with the most clothes for newborn. And we have clothes for her. All the okay, way so down here we have clothes ranging from six months all the way to like two years old. So she has quite a bit of things in this last here drawer. Are two boxes. I bought her a close and secure sleeper from Walmart that was like 40 bucks. And then I also bought her a, um, you know, a little, uh, what's this thing that you play in? I'm going to show them to you in just so a second. This is her crib. It is a four in one, so we'll turn into a toddler bed. Or whatever and um, that bumper is gonna come off when she actually is old enough to sleep in there we're gonna take that bumper off because I know they're dangerous but and then we put her uh, close sleeper in here um, I'll put it in my room when she needs to co-sleep but um, for the most part I'll put it in here as well and I'll just sleep out here probably in this chair over here and yeah so this way she doesn't feel like she's in this huge crib she's just in the inside of her co-sleep okay over here we have the little play tent it's a tent and she can actually go in there have fun i like this tent i doubt that she enjoys it until she's about four months but it is pretty and it was on sale for like 20 22 yeah 22 dollars at walmart and so that was a really good deal okay and this bouncer my little dog she thinks this is her room she she's all right go sit down maui go sit down thank you 
this um bouncer actually we thrifted from the goodwill and it was only like eight bucks and i thought that was a really darn good deal when i seen it it looks in excellent condition it's not dirty or anything so i was like yeah we're definitely grabbing that so that was the only that's really the only thrifted item i have for her everything else i bought brand new and no i did not have a, a baby shower at all because we don't know anyone out here in florida so yeah we bought everything flat out fresh okay, so this is a gray coast stroller i don't know how much i paid for this what i pay for this 154 yeah 154 dollars um and yeah my husband is just gonna lift up the thing for you and it has the um car seat you know the car seat where you can hook it into the stroller and you can push that part closed in case you want to cover up the baby completely which i really don't like i like them to be able to breathe a little bit but it does have an air pocket and all that stuff like that where you can let them breathe and stuff so yeah we just got that um you can make all those wheels roll or you can have it stiff or you have to control it but yeah so just something cute this pink um that's the design of it this is the design yeah it does have the newborn support head resting which i love because i don't want the head weebling wobbling on the way from the hospital oh and there's the base to the car seat as well it needs to go ahead and be in the car pretty soon but yeah that's the base to it um you know when you want to put this it here is her um bathtub my husband is holding it up for me and it was only $17 at Walmart and it comes with the little toys I thought that was so cool that it comes with the toys you see it's Fisher Price yeah and it grows and you can like it comes with like this little area for them when they newborn and then it moves all the way up until when they're like six months I believe so I did lie by accident there is one other thing that was sort of thrifted and that's this little stand right here and we just have her stuff in there and um yeah so let me go ahead and show <laughs> show you what's up here so um first we have some towels i actually found these towels at the dollar store for a dollar and i was so mad because i went to walmart and i had bought some towels before i found these and yeah you can get four towels for a dollar i thought that was a really good deal and excuse me i have some other towels that i'm going to show you guys also, as well i kind of ripped off of this thing right here they charged me 20 dollars at walmart when it was on sale for 1401 and i even seen it online for sale for 1401 and even on Amazon for $14 as well as Target. But that's okay. I was like, whatever. But yeah, this is like the Deluxe Healthcare and Grooming Kit. It has everything you need as far as a medicine dispenser, as far as the thermometer, and etc. etc. And the clippers. You guys know. So we okay, have so that. here we have we bought some Johnson and Johnson products. You guys know back in the day, 14 years ago when I had my daughter, this was the stuff right here. This was what you needed to have. But now, you know what? I don't even like the smell of it. It has a nasty, stinky smell since they changed the formula. She has a huge um Johnson lotion, but it's inside the hospital bag for when I go to the hospital. So I found some of these at the dollar store, actually. And these smell freaking good. And I'm telling you, they smell really good. Um, and they're not harsh at all. So you really can find some good stuff at the dollar store. And I was more, I like the smell of these dollar store items way more than I like the Johnson's. And she has quite a bit of Johnson's and quite a bit of dollar store items. I also have some hand wipes back there. And um, I also have some uh, spray back there. But I don't think I'm going to use it because I don't believe in using aerosols in the house because they just basically spread a bunch of chemicals around. But I got it just in case it smells unbearable in here <laughs> when she handles her business. Oh, yeah. And so then I got some of these little trash bags. I'm going to just throw her diapers in there until they make their way out to the dumpster. Because like I said, I'm not keeping no poopy and peepee -pee diapers over in the house. I don't care how well the diaper genie works. And then um, we got some muslin. I always call them muslin blankets, but that's pretty much what they are. And um, we had four of them. Of course, one of them is already in her hospital bag. So, yeah, those were not too expensive. About $7. And you come with four different ones. So I thought that was a good deal. And over here, I just got this just for her dirty laundry. You know, a little dollar store mesh utility bag. I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, so we have these <laughs> even flow. Um, these are glass. And um, BPA free. So I got those. We also found these Parents Choice. That was also BPA free. And they were cheaper at um, Walmart. So we found those as well. Now mind you she has a lot of other bottles and soothers inside her um, hospital bag. So I'm going to have to do what's in my hospital bag. This is something <laughs> we grabbed when we first learned we was pregnant. I just wanted to have something just to let me know I was really pregnant. So that's 
neither here nor there. She won't be able to use that till she's way older. And then we got these here. These are the classic pacifiers, but she does have the soothers. And we got these from um, the dollar store as well. And it's very important that they are BPA free. And these are as well. Don't sleep on your local dollar store. So we got those. And this is like I said for when she's a little older. And then we have, I couldn't resist to pick these up. They were only like a dollar. I think they were even cheaper than a dollar. So I grabbed them from Walmart. <laughs> Fork and spoon. Because before you know it, she'll be into using them. And you know, you'll be like, I need some forks and spoons. So you already have them. And then we have the bottle cleaner. Typical stuff. And um, right here we have some okay, more. Yeah, these are the burping cloths. And one of them is, of course, in the hospital bag. That's why they are open. I bought this tea there for $2 at Walmart. And you just put it in the freezer and it's good to go. BPA free. We had another set of bottles from Gerber. And yeah, one of those is in the hospital bag. But I'm getting ready to switch that out for some other bottles that I got. And I'll show those to you in a minute. Just some stuff from the dollar store. Just little headbands and stuff like that. Um more bowls from walmart bowls <laughs> those are just um three bibs that we got from um walmart oh four bibs oh my gosh okay four bibs four bibs <laughs> princess has arrived the princess has arrived loving it smiles are my specialty uh somebody has to be the cutest and yeah so we have those and here we have, I bought, see I bought a lot of towels y'all. This is a four piece Terry bath set. And it has, I think it has a little hooded towel with it. And then some more washcloths. And this was kind of expensive. I think this is more like eight, nine dollars or so. But yeah, she set with towels. And then I got another set of forks um, and spoons. And... Oh yeah, these are called boogie wipes. It's for boogers and stuff. I thought that was really cute in case they get sick, but yeah. And then, just some disposable bibs, just in case I don't want to mess up her bibs. I know that sounds stupid, but you know, sometimes her bibs is part of her outfit. <laughs> so back here we got some Desti Desitin, of course. One of the best recommended um, diaper rash relief. Also some from the dollar store called Butt 8. That, that was cool funny and just some more hippos I forgot all about these <laughs> um yeah another oh like a medicine dispenser in the spoon I don't even know why I got that I just was buying stuff y'all bottles from the dollar store guys and these are BPA free so when she gets older she's gonna you know boom we can just you know she'll have bottles already so I grabbed those from the dollar store why not and then we have some uh, SPF baby because we live in Florida. We have to have some sun protection for her as well. All right, that completes that row. And we have some, I believe these are Huggies. Yeah, Huggy wipes. And I had these in my hospital bag. With, look how big and bulky that thing is. Y'all took up all the room. I got to go find a little, um, a little one to hold the um, wipes in. And of course, we opened these size newborn diapers because she has six of them in her hospital bag. And then we just have sizes one, and I think that's it, newborns in size one. So we'll, we'll roll with the diapers as she grows and needs them. And then we have some hats. You can just throw that on down. Hats, more bibs, um, more washcloths from Walmart. I told you guys I had a ton of washcloths for her. More bibs. <laughs> yep, those go with the set that, that is hanging up on the wall. And then I even bought some sippy cups. I know it's going to be a long time before she needs those, but whatever. They were BPA free and a dollar. You never know when your dollar store might run out. And then she has another hat down there. Also, I bought these other wipes from Parents' Choice. They was only $2, so I got her some of those. Just some backups in case her huggies run out. Because she is a huggy baby. I like Pampers too, but she's a huggy baby. And then I got her nipple cleaners to go along with the bottle cleaner. And then these are the bottles that I was telling you about. I got the kind that bend like that. So I'm going to actually replace this probably tonight, um, take out the other bottle and use this in the hospital for when she first uh, is born because this will be better for her. 
And really, that's about it, guys. We have a huge thing of refills for wipes down there. And that thing was only like 11 bucks, 10.97. So that's just a huge thing of Huggy Wipes. So yeah, that's it, guys. That is it. That is the end of my tour for my nursery. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. And um, yeah, Miss Persia will be here soon. Bye.